whenever you're ready. Hold on. Don't start. Don't start. <laughs> Too late. Too late. All right. Kick us off. All right. Baby. All right. Hold on. Before, before we do all the introductions and shit, I just want to ask Drew a simple question. Why is that beer sign the only fucking thing on your wall right now? It's not. I got a bunch of different things on my wall. Uh huh. Where's the picture of my dick? Yeah, fuck <laughs> you, buddy. It's not happening, you gay boy. For everyone watching, we had a goddamn bet where if what what the fuck was his goddamn name? Mickey something. Uh, fucking idiot. Why didn't you save that for the show? Save it for the show. We we haven't started yet. <laughs> You, we We're have recording. started. You recorded, Dad. You're recording, Boomer. I know, but that's not how the show starts. It, okay, it's well, fine, get, Dad. Dad, I promise. Start, then it's all fucked up, then. I promise you it's fine, Dad. Just get into the show. All right, just well, bring just it restart it. Just restart it. It's all fucking retarded. Right, just, just, start, just introduce us, Dad. Just introduce us. <laughs> all right. Yo, welcome to the Dude Ranch Podcast. I'm Big Grizzly Marvell. I want to say... Happy birthday, fucking America, 4th of July. Yes, I want to know what's up with the girls going wild. I want them to make a comeback. I was always fascinated with the going wild part of it. Waz, what's up? Hey, so, you know, Danny Hammer here, you know, fucking uh, go follow me on Facebook. We're doing this fucking gamers fucking shit, and it's pretty cool and stuff, and everyone registers the boat, and, you know, I show everyone my penis when they I vote and stuff, so it's pretty cool. Drew? Yo, what's up? It's T-Bag69. We're back. Make sure you guys go follow all the Dude Ranch uh, social medias. We've been saying it weeks after weeks, but uh, make sure you guys are there following it, liking the posts, interacting. And, uh, yeah, I mean, not too much. We've got the Saturday, so let's get going, Brady. What do you got? Uh, not too much. Follow these two fucking jabronis on their respective platforms, Teabag69YT and, uh, the Danny Hammer Facebook. They're both little charity cases. They need as much help as they can get, so go follow them. And, uh, yeah, the Sixers are gonna win the NBA Finals. Let's get into the fucking topics here. Yep. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, this one wasn't actually in my notes, but I want to start off with this one, Brady, because this is just fresh in our memory. It just fucking happened. So I did a two beer bong, two beers and one bong in six seconds. So Drew was like, oh, I could fucking beat that. I'm the best beer bonger in the world. I did. Three beer bonged it in maybe the right amount of time or questionably, but as I'm so mad that we didn't fucking report this because as soon as he took the fucking bong away from his lips, he started throwing up and he proceeded mm -hmm. to throw up. For two minutes, Brady, did he, does that qualify as him beating me in six seconds? Two beers, six seconds. So, well, A, no, it absolutely does not qualify. He threw up a, immediately after taking the beer ball away from his lips. Two, uh, I think the exact time was like 6.5 seconds, Sarah said. So 6 he didn't even beat you regardless. No, hold on. 6.2, and we don't have an exact time on guys. Because it was a it was a horrible video audio. Dad was probably about six point seven, and uh, Sarah didn't stop it exactly on the time because I did start throwing up. I do admit it's not like I'm trying to dis disprove that I did throw up. I did throw up, but it's whatever. But I know I got it down fast in a big grizzly. I mean, it's whatever. I'm the best beer bonger in the house. It just came. Hold out. on, I, I would like to state. A fact hold on, was was I'm coming to you here. I'm coming to you. Does it fucking count? Even if he did beat me. Does it count that he threw more than half of it up? Absolutely not. If you go to any eating contest, I've watched it on ESPN 8 the Ocho. Any puke, disqualified every time. Every I'm, time. Not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I shouldn't be disqualified, but all I'm saying is I got it down faster, and it doesn't matter. That but you doesn't didn't mean it you're down. a good beer take bonger, though. If you puke it back up, you're not a good beer bonger. Take the L, dog. Just take. Want to say something? Want to say something? That was my that was my third beer bong of the day, and it was only Dad's first beer bong. So I mean, let's let's throw that out there. Take the L. Take, take the, the L. L. I got it down faster. Is all that matters. So I mean, hate all you want, but it's whatever. You're 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 a good, you're a close second, Big Grizzly. It's all right. All right. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next topic, right? Because 
But I, I, I don't want to look like we're picking on you, Drew, but we were talking about this the other day when you were on Tinder. And um, <laughs> <laughs> Drew has his Tinder age range set. He has a set from 18 to 100. <laughs> does, does Drew want to bang like fucking grandmas or something? Like, what's up with that? Drew, I'll give you the first response. Why is it set to 100? Well, listen. I'm not on there for the sex or whatever. I'm on Tinder to meet the love of my life. Shout out <laughs> Tinder. And uh, and if it happens to be someone older, I don't care. I mean, I'm looking for my soulmate. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're out there, you're watching this podcast, and you think we'd be a good match, I mean, because I'm a good match with anyone. I'm a, I'm a chameleon. I can morph to all kinds of things. I mean, hit me up. Comments down below. <laughs> Waz, what do you think? <laughs> um, grandma? <laughs> I I think that Drew would not only fuck a grandma, but he would marry a grandma, and then whenever people were asking him why he did that, he'd be like, oh, I'm just doing it for the money, but he'd be eating her food. He'd be eating her cooter and her butt. There'd be I, would coming I would definitely bang a gill. There's nothing wrong with a little gill faction. <laughs> Brady, your thoughts? <laughs> Look at Brady. There you go. That's hey, good sorry. content. That's good hey, content. Sorry. Uh, yeah, quick thought. A, I think Drew lied about his age range. I think it's like 14 to 100. That's besides <laughs> the point. Uh, yeah, I think I think the same way with his uh, – Doesn't isn't your shit up to like 200 miles away? I think he just casts a wide net. I don't know. I don't <laughs> think he really has uh, much it's, standard. It's actually only up to 20 miles, so boom. Rested. How about that? Oh, you changed it to 20? It's been 20 since I got back on Tinder, so yeah. Wait, so – you're telling me you're looking for people in Johnstown. I'm looking for something close, buddy. Somebody in Johnstown, if anyone's trying to fuck you, you'd know about it. Listen, Roz, I mean, before we get off topic here, we have a big debate going on with the, uh, I'm not going to drop any names, but a certain someone you fingered on the uh, party boss for Brady's wedding. We are in contact with said woman to find out if it's true or not. So, I mean... So, Brady, okay. whenever Sarah finds out that information, I say you relay it to the podcast. Just throw that out there real quick. I but, uh, yeah, that, I, yeah. I, have I, say, I have witnesses I that not. were on the party bus right next to me. The fingers were going. One second. You have two witnesses, one of which agrees with you, one of which doesn't agree with you. So, I mean, yeah, but Sarah wants to save face with her friend. We're going to the source. We're asking said person, and whatever she says goes is all I'm saying. Can I give my opinion on that? I wasn't sure. on the party bus. I think maybe she had an itch on her inner thigh and Waz was scratching it. That's that's my opinion. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, my I'm fucking leg is itching. Waz is like, I'll side. scratch it. Can you tell I'm, people I'm I finger bang? I'm hoping Waz <laughs> did finger blast said chick. But we had to get to the bottom of it. So we had, we had, we we we've got in contact with the person. We're waiting for a response hey, to see if it happens. That's what we do: hard hitting, investigating, reporting. It, you yeah. say you did the finger blast, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it one way or the other. Yeah. So the oh, question good. is: the question is, did was finger bang said person? We're gonna find out. Hopefully, this episode. If not, we'll reveal the answer to our said followers in next week's episode. I would like to point out that Drew was trying to get jiggy with the same chick that I was. And uh, and uh, both of us struck Drew out. There. So, I mean. Because my fingers, my fingers went right on home, buddy. And yours smelled like sweaty fucking palms. We'll see. We'll see. We both struck <laughs> out. None of, us, none, of us went none of us went home with said girl. So, I mean, we both lost. It's whatever. Hey. We'll find. We'll find out if your fingers actually smelled like coochie or not. We'll find out hopefully in this podcast. Hey, if he did, he probably hit the wrong hole and he smelled like butthole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brady, make sure you let Sarah know that we want the answer hopefully on this podcast. So if you just want to go let her know right now. All right. All right. So I'd like to revert the topic back to what I was trying to start off. Look with. at him. He's trying to revert the topic because he knows he didn't get the finger. We just had the, the fucking whole discussion. Go ahead. What What else did you want to say about it? I'll give you 15 minutes. No, no, was. Was. I have that. That's in my notes. I know what you want to talk about, and that's in my notes. Don't worry about it. 
All right. I'll go to All right. Next. All right. Yeah. I'll we'll go get to it whenever. It don't matter. As long as we get. I'll to go it. to it next. Are we done talking about the finger banging? Or yeah, the alleged? The alleged? Yeah, the alleged finger, finger banging. Bang. I'm done talking about it until we find out the truth. All right. Where'd your camera so, go, Drew? Put that shit back on. <laughs> we'll go to the next topic. He got all, he got all so fucking Drew, horny when we was talking about fingering. Now he's beating off. <laughs> Drew, was, Drew was at a bet last week about fights, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to let Waz discuss that here in a second. But the bet, the, the bet was that Waz... Was had to send a fucking dick pic to Drew, and Drew was supposed to post it on the on his wall, blow it up and post it on his wall. Frame. He was supposed to frame it and then hang frame it on his wall. It. All right, tell me what the bet was about, Juan. All right, so I tell Drew, I'm like, hey, I want hundred bucks, comma worthy, no big deal, you know. And then fucking this Mickey Gall fellow. He's he's been fucking talking about it nonstop how much of a lock this is because the other dude was training with his fucking girlfriend and nobody else. And so I'm like, all right, Drew, put $100 on Mickey Gall. But if he loses, you have to frame a picture of my cock and hang it on your wall. He said, all right, you're on. And I said, I'm being serious. You have to frame it on the wall, on the wall, on the wall. Drew, it's my cock on your wall, buddy. Go back in your room. We can't fucking hear you. In here, what are you saying? Hold on, his phone died. Brady, give us give us your opinions on that. Oh, I I absolutely think he should have his cock on his wall. I mean, you make a bet like that. Not only did he make the bet like that and screw over Waz, he screwed over me. He screwed over Tyler. He screwed over three of us. He should have to pay the fucking consequences. That means a dick on his wall. Here's my question, wall. though. Why does Waz want his cock on Drew's <laughs> fucking bedroom wall? Well, that's a different <laughs> question. I don't have the answer to that and, question. And, and here's, the, here's the second part of that question. How big does Drew have to have that blown up to even make it look like a cock? <laughs> it was a pretty good picture. Nice angle on it, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, I, I had it in my phone from fucking Bahrain, for Christ's sake. That, that was like one of them good dick pics that you always have in your fucking phone. Just in case it so happens to pop up, like, oh, dick pic time, boom, send it off. You know, like that, boom, dick pic. But uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. It was the first thing that popped up into my mind whenever I was like, hey, $100 on Mickey Gall. I was like, well, if Mickey Gall fucking loses, I got to make Drew fucking do something. So I was like, you got to fucking frame a picture of my cock and put it on your fucking wall. Just because, honestly, I thought it'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> and uh, I wanted my $100 first off, you know. But I will say, though, Drew cannot call anybody gay except himself because if he didn't want anybody's dick on his wall, he wouldn't have accepted the bet. <laughs> All right, Drew's here. He's going to answer that shit. Um, I can't hear we can't hear you, bud. Well, you're going to tell him. Tell him I think it's a little weird. He sent me the dick pic. Drew thinks it's a little weird. You sent him a dick pic in general. He said we it's had an really agreement. What did he think I was going to do? Send him a picture of my fucking big dog? That was a joke. joke he, thought, he thought it was a joke agreement, and he thinks that you really want to get gay with him, that you sent him a fucking dick pic. Mm -hmm. It was a bet, first off. Second off, Personally, I wouldn't make that bet with somebody over a UFC fight, you know. Maybe it's because I'm a casual. You know, I don't know that much about UFC, apparently, according to Drew, because I'm a casual. But, you know, I wouldn't be like, hey, I will beat you in a game of basketball, and if you beat me, I'll put a picture of your cock on my wall. You know, I wouldn't fucking do that because I wouldn't want to do it fucking cock and balls hanging on my fucking wall. But Drew accepted the bet. It was verified and double verified. That's three verifies right there. Three. It's still weird fucking bet. It Very is. It's a fucking weird bet. And you it's a weird a bet. fucking bet. It's a weird fucking bet. Dude. It's a weird bet, but is it funny? Yes. Should he have to put a picture of my dick on his wall? Absolutely. Except the bet. We're is it funny here. or gay? I don't know. It's one or the other. It's funny or gay. <laughs> I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> We're all gentlemen here, though, you know? 
I, I think we, Freddy, we, funny we or all honor our bets, you know, except for maybe Drew. He's not a true gentleman like that. <laughs> Freddie, funny or gay? Is it funny or gay? Uh, funny for one, gay for Drew for acceptance. Boom. Gay for me. He's the one who sent me the dick. Drew's a house that's funny for him. You're the one that got the dick pic, buddy. Was is the one that sent him. He wasn't another man a dick pic. Okay. It's like Big Bob used to say, you're the one sucking my dick. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Drew's the one getting the dick pic, so therefore he's gay. Oh, yeah, I'm, not looking at bag. Cock. I'm not looking at nobody's <laughs> cock. You're gay for sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's the one ball gazing over there. Drew says he thinks it's really gay. You're the one with the dude's fucking cock on your phone, buddy. Should be on your wall, but not anymore. It's deleted. Like ASAP, it was deleted. Do you need me to resend so, it Drew. so you can hang it on your wall, or? <laughs> uh, no, don't send that thing again. So, Drew, how big would you have had to get that fucking photo made to I'd, make it visible? Probably, like, I'd probably able to see it was a cock. Probably made it twelve by ten. It would have been maybe visible. Drew said maybe 12 by 10, it might have been fucking visible. And <laughs> it might have that was a good fucking off. dick pic, Drew. Don't give me that bullshit. <laughs> Who's that random picture you keep walking around? Let's see the random picture of a guy in a Navy suit from the chick. Oh, yeah, that's that's my roommate getting married right there. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Give shout out. Why are you walking around, dude? I don't know. I like to be fucking up. I'm an energetic fucking guy, okay? We Drew's have a, walking around. Why ain't you bitching at Drew? Well, his phone's dead. I don't understand how he doesn't have it plugged in, how he still isn't playing. I don't understand. But we have – I'm just saying because we have a lot of viewers that say you're walking around is distracting to them. There was one person. That was Shane. That was it. That's the only guy. No, I've had a couple other people say that. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> he was all fucked. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm serious. I've had a, I've li I've literally had three people say that, but I'll go bother I'll, me, but I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'll, I'll fucking sit down the whole fucking time if you want me to, but I'll be honest as well. A buddy of mine that watches the show said that you're distracting when you're walking around eating and all that stuff. But I like I said, I really don't care. I only ate that one fucking time. <laughs> that was one time. You guys won't let it go. Hello, hello, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. To You're my fucking phone channel. sideways, you goofy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. You're fair, you go. No, no, fix your phone. I'm hey. getting it back. Don't worry. Don't okay, worry. so Drew, go, go ahead and say what you're going to say about uh, your fair ass. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and comment on that, Drew. Uh, Roz is 100% gay for sending me a dick pic. 100%. If you send another man a dick pic, it is gay. It doesn't matter if it was a bet or if it wasn't a bet. Uh, it was a dick pic from him. Um, I finally feel what all those fucking chicks are like when they say, guy sent unsolicited dick pics. It, it was wasn't really unsolicited. That was <laughs> not was unsolicited. unsolicited. It was unsolicited. You solicited it the was... dick pic whenever you accepted the bet. That's so. That's it was 100% one of those unsolicited <laughs> dick pics. I didn't appreciate it. Waz is gay. It's okay, buddy. It's 2020. You can come out. That was a solicited dick pic. Like, if, if people were doing an investigation, right, and this was prostitution, they'd be like, you're fucked because you solicited. You solicited. You said yes. Let's do this. You it, was a it was a joking agreement, Waz. I, I was 100% serious, and you damn well know it. I wasn't giggling at all. I said... You got to do it. And then <laughs> well, you weren't the giggling. Bed. The you funniest giggling thing was because we were texting. The... I mean, we, Hold were on, texting. Let me speak. We, we weren't giggling at all because you were texting me. It's not like you were fucking on the phone. It was not like you were on the phone. So. It was on your phone. It was on the text messages. Oh, was it now? Hold on. Well, Brady, we're... you was in the room. Was it over the phone? Yes, it was both. I was there whenever it was said. It was on the text messages. <laughs> Was sent a text saying that it was a dick pic for the fight. Was it gay? Confirmed. Hold on. Were you FaceTiming me throughout the entire fight? And when Mickey Gall lost, did you immediately stop recording because you were upset you lost the bet and you were going to have to frame a picture? Yeah, but that's not the thing. And put it on your no, wall. No, no, no. Is that why you fucking stopped it? 
I stopped recording because I was pissed off because I lost the fucking I lost I thought what it was a guarantee. But by the way, I was four and two on that night in my prediction. So can we all just come to agreements? Moral of the story here, uh T Bag sixty nine is the casual. Can we yes. come to the Okay. Yes. Um, Dad? Four and two that was your lock of the year, you said. You said that was the lock of the year. The lock of the year. I can give the reasons if you want. <laughs> Everyone, Everyone's wrong once in a while. It is okay. I mean. I would like to point out that your lock of the year got beat by a dude who was training with his girlfriend. All I'm saying was I was still four and two in the night. It was pretty solid of a night. I still fucking put up decent numbers in my fucking predictions. Call me a casual all you want, but I had to. I, I had great predictions. Hey, before before I transition to a next topic, since we're talking about that fight card, how about our boy and the friend of the fucking show, Karma Worthy, came down big time to us, dude. And at his post his post fight interview when he said he gave him the Pittsburgh Gid team, if I'd had a terrible towel, I'd have been fucking waving it. I swear to God, I was so fucking proud. Thoughts on the Karma fight? He did us proud. Our guy. Yeah, I mean, he right, definitely right, did us right. proud. Oh, okay. Who? Okay. You said Brady, but I was in the middle of talking. But go ahead, Brady. Not sure what Brady's doing, but um, I'll take over. I think Brady might be a little <laughs> too stoned and drunk for the podcast. I think he might be sleeping. But, um, yeah, Kama definitely came through with the big-time dub. If you guys were watching the fight in the second round, it looked like he was in trouble a little bit. He kept getting out of the sleeper hole. He was uh, obviously he was obviously the stronger fighter. And uh, I'm not sure what Brady's doing face camera. Pretty sure Brady's, Brady's, def Brady's definitely a little too uh, a little messed up for the podcast. But Kama, yeah, I mean he did the job. He got it done, and uh, I mean he got the fucking tap out. It caught me by surprise. Laws lost money because he had a bet on KO. I told him he should just bet on Kama, but it's whatever. No, you didn't. Drew, let me interject. Bre Drew, let me interject real quick before we go to Brady's response. Never too fucked up for the podcast, bro. That's what we're about. Brady, go ahead. Absolutely. Never too fucked up for the podcast. I don't understand why it was said that I was too fucked up. I'm just sitting here. Because, because Listen, Dad called on you and you just sat there. That's why we said you were too fucked up. <laughs> he called up. on you. You was talking. No, he called on you while I was mid-talking. Dad, who'd you call on first? I called on Brady. Go ahead, Brady. Okay, my bad. I heard you're talking, so I just shut up and listen. I mean, I don't listen too much because he's a casual and everything he says is wrong. Regardless, call him a beast, absolute beast. I hope he fights Jim Miller next. That'd be a good fight for him. I think uh, he called out Omar Hazarian, so we'll see what happens. But either way, I'm dialed in. I'm tuned in. Anything Kama does, I report. Was, what, what did you watch the fight was? Oh yeah, I uh, I couldn't get it. Uh, so, or well, no, I could get that one. I couldn't get the main shit. So I was watching it on my ESPN app on my PlayStation. So, you know, I I was watching, and uh, I'm not embarrassed to say that I shit my pants a little bit. I had eaten some spicy Chick Fil A the fucking night before, and uh, you know, I was jumping up and down. I had a lot of money on Karma, so you know, I was fucking getting into it. You know. And uh, when I jumped one time, little shit squirted out my ass. Not a bunch of shit, just a little, little bit of shit. Fucking squirted little out. Shark. Little yeah, shark. Yeah, little shark. You know, but uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought he was fucked there in the second. And uh, whenever he fucking uh, got it around his neck, I mean, I had 100 bucks on the knockout, but I wasn't really pissed off. I was hyped. I was glad the boys winning, you know. And uh, when he fell down to the ground, oh, I thought – as soon as, soon as you saw that fucking goddamn choke was really locked in there, oh man, it was over, baby. That was nice. Well, you didn't know whenever whenever he had that fucking, whenever he had that, whenever he was down in that set. We're talking about that second round when that when that guy was on top of him and he kept getting him holes. And then the one the one point where Kama stood up when that guy was on his back, and you know me and Kama the last time talked about deadlift, and I was like, Kama deadlifts. You can see it right there. Because he fucking stood up, that guy, all that guy's weight on the back, Alma just stood up and got out of that fucking hole. It was a beast. Yeah, I mean, he def he definitely showed me, I thought he was, I mean, he definitely showed me a side that I thought that he didn't, not that I didn't think he had, but I didn't know he had. Like, that whole wrestling background, 
I mean, he definitely showed me a side. It definitely impressed me. I think he's going to be a top dog in the UFC. I mean, there you go. That's just – there you go. That's a UFC diehard mastermind telling us. <laughs> That's it. He's, he's not a casual, folks. I mean, I, I do want to say something. Stuff. If you want to call – if you're trying to call my intelligence, I'm pretty sure you were the one who was – if you know anything about the UFC is, you know this fight's <laughs> not going to be a tap out, and you know Kama Worthy's going to get knockout. So, if, you, well, if you're smart with your money, you want to bet Kama Worthy on the knockout here. But Kama gets a tap out. What are you going to say for yourself, Brady? I got to say to myself that smart money would have been on him to knock him out. And I also said, you forgot to mention, I said, there's no way this fight goes the distance, which did it go the distance? No. No, but um, no, I'm, no, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Brady said, um, there's no way that uh, either one of these two are going to tap each other out. But um, I, I, no, smart Kama. money is bet on Kama with the knockout. Yeah, now, I, I will say, one. I have looked over his fight history before, and I don't think there was any submission fucking wins. Three. Oh, yes, that was his third three? one. Yeah, no. <laughs> you didn't remember. You already got called out on that when we had Kama on the fucking podcast. Yeah, well, you can't really talk about Kama, so. <laughs> what? Because when we had Kama on the podcast, you were like, yeah, Kama, I mean, you're not used to your fights going to quite a distance. I mean, you have so many fights that finish in, like, 13 seconds, and then Kama was like, actually, most of my fights go to second or third round. <laughs> All right. Hey. I don't recall that. I'm going to move on because I, I don't want to talk you're about that wrong. too much because I think, I think we're going to have Kama on in the future, so we'll talk more about that, about his fight. I thought sure. he was supposed to be on tonight, but I guess not. He's going to come back on again in the future. I want to talk about a funny story about last Sunday, and Brady remembers this shit. Drew, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to keep picking on you, but this shit's funny, man. So, Dustin Johnson, me, me and Brady both had money on Dustin Johnson to win the Travelers. And so Brady come down to watch it, and we were going to get some beer. And Drew was unloading the dishwasher whenever he did it, whenever <laughs> we went to go get beer. And we come back from getting beer, and we come in the kitchen – <laughs> and the fucking dishwasher <laughs> door was open. Half of it was unloaded. The other half wasn't. And we're like, what the fuck happened to Drew? We thought he got a fucking abducted or something. So Brady went into Drew's room and he was laying in his bed. Drew was, Drew was trying to cough a quick pound off, wasn't he, Brady? <laughs> I mean, first of all, Dustin Johnson, big shout out. He did win us both money at the Travelers. But a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> One thousand percent confirmed that dude was beating his little peckerwood off. There's no way the way he was laying in bed, it was like 85 degrees. He had the covers half on, he was beating his dick off. Dude, no you're such it. a liar. I was laying on my stomach outside of the covers, editing our fucking golf prank or not prank video, our golf course challenge prank. There you go, Mr. Brady Gates lying again, compulsive liar. I, I wasn't beating my cock. Honestly, I don't remember what I was doing. I was in the middle of the dishwasher. You guys were leaving. I was walking towards the door with you guys, and I was like, oh, i got to go out of my video. I just completely left my mind. I wasn't beating my cock. <laughs> there goes Brady lying to you saying I was 85% under the covers. I, dude's a compulsive liar. Also said that Jimmy John's uh, in Pennsylvania somewhere <laughs> said it was no sons of anarchy. I, dude just lies all the time. I wasn't First of all, that's called a joke. Covers. I was oh, laying yes. on my – here's the covers. I'm laying on top of it like this. Fully clothed, head at the bottom of my bed, not at the top. It was nowhere near beat off position for me. So hey, that's all I'm Drew, talking. so I have a question. Um, Go ahead. Does doing the dishes make you horny? Is that why you were beating off? <laughs> no, I, I was doing the dishes. about the bubbles? Or? I was doing the di – the bubbles, huh? I don't know. It probably gets sudsy on the inside whenever it fucking Once starts washing. Never done dishes before. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you've ever done a dishwasher in your life. But anyway, no, <laughs> I was doing a dishwasher, and Brady and my dad were going to get some beer for the golf or whatever. I was like, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I was walking with them, and they walked out the door, and I totally forgot about the dishwasher. I went into my room. They started editing that video, and that's why. <laughs> Dude, can you see – where we would be like, what the fuck's going on here? When oh, we yeah, 100%. Back. 100% I see where you're coming. Do you think I was beating my cock? I wasn't beating my cock. If I was beating my cock, the doors would have been shut. There was no doors shut. My doors were wide open. I'm not beating my cock with the doors wide open. 
If I wanted to be my dick, I would have went to full precaution. My head would have been up there at the pillows. I wouldn't have been under the covers, because that's weird. I don't beat my cock while I'm under the covers. What if I splooge on my fucking comforter? I don't want that to happen. The bathroom door would have been shut. It yeah, wasn't. but no, what if you heard Brady coming and tossed the little covers over you real quick? That, no, because that's not exactly what happened, because I would I would have finished soon, because if they left, that would have taken up at least 10 minutes. I'm not that long to come. I come, that, I come faster than, like, 10 minutes. What if you I just would, started go- beating off, like – Whenever they was like coming in the door or something. No, I was doing the dishwasher. They, I was walking, I was walking with them. They was there walking off to go to the car to get beer, and I totally forgot about the dishwasher. I started that in the video, which you guys should check out if you haven't checked out. By the way, all uh, right. So I think we should put this down to a vote. Who thinks Drew is beaten off? I'm gonna raise my hand here. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's three to zip, buddy. <laughs> it's You're actually not three to zip because I was uh, three to one. So. <laughs> Well, you can't vote against yourself. Whatever, it's three to one. We still win. It's well, then, then, then Brady and my dad can't vote because they they were they were against me. So it's like, well, then I'm the only one that can vote, and I vote yes. You were beaten off, so I still. Of course, of course, of course, of, of course you're gonna bet against me because you're just a like, dickhead. I obviously wasn't beating my cock. You know it. We all know it. I was in How would I my know? Video. I wasn't there. I was in there editing my video for the golf course challenge, which was pretty sick. We had a wheel spin the fucking eye. Uh, see what clubs we used. A pretty cool video. Check, Check out that out. video. That video was funny. Check it out. It was pretty funny. Yeah, we had a lot of good commentary on it. And, uh, I mean, I was editing the video, and I totally forgot about the dishwasher. I wasn't beating my dick. I'm not ashamed <laughs> to say if I was beating my dick or not, because I beat my dick at least three, four times a day. Maybe two. What? Depending on, <laughs> depending, <laughs> depending on how I feel, maybe two. It doesn't matter. It's Jesus, three to four times a day? Are you fucking lonely, bud? I mean, fuck. (laughs) It's once in the morning, once at night. I mean, that's all I can say. Was I mean, it's not like you're out there pulling fucking mad bitches anyway. So I mean, it's the coronavirus. No one's really going on associating right now. Exactly. Maybe just put a fucking lockdown on us. But exactly. So no, what I'm saying though is that beating off three to four times a day isn't really usually normal. Usually once a day. That's No you know, way. That's Shut up. You beat your dick way more than once a day, you fucking lying piece of shit. No, I don't. Two on a day from really Bullshit. fucking worn out. He's Two going, day, he's going really blind out there, dude. He's going blind being long. <clears throat> All right, let's put a pin on that. Let's put a pin on that and move on to something else. We got to talk about our fucking troll. Yeah. Mr. Sparkle's Mr. back Mr. again, baby. Spark. Mr. Pl- Mr. Sparkle strikes again, baby. This time, he insinuated that someone in our group is a transgender. Who do you <laughs> say? I'm, I'm assuming he ain't talking about me. We, we all know me. who he's talking about. <laughs> yes, it's, it's true. Pre- it's pretty fucking simple. We know who the <laughs> transgender person is in our group. It's not one of the Gates boys, so that makes it one out of one. It's the Danny Hammer. Okay, I don't know why you would assume I'm the tranny. Okay. You look, you look, you look like the most fucking tranny person. Like, how do I look like the fucking tranny? Look at this beautiful fucking hair, buddy. Exactly. You look. You're just making my case, dude. You look. You look the what? most like. Only chicks are allowed to have gorgeous fucking locks. Are you kidding me? You have a fat. You have a feminine style to you. You definitely look like the tranny. Freddie, you're like Freddy, 100, you like 115 pounds. Brady, who who is Mr. Spark calling the tranny? The uh, Danny. It's the Danny, right? <laughs> I think you guys are full hey, of shit. But what? I want to throw something out here. If it makes you feel any better, he said that the transgender person wasn't the special needs person that he called after the first episode he trolled on. <laughs> so if it makes no, you feel any better, you're, you're just person. you're just transgender. <laughs> you're not special needs. <laughs> okay. Is it, is it well, helpful? I guess. All right. Steve, what's the next right. topic, buddy? <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to talk about the bubble down in Orlando for the NBA playoffs. So, we, me, me, Drew, and Brady talked about this earlier. Gordon Hayward. Jason <laughs> Oh, here we go. He had to fucking sneak his name in there somewhere. But <laughs> we talked about this. Gordon Hayward's wife is due to deliver a baby in, in September. And he said he will leave the bubble to go 
with his baby. Like, I'm thinking if you're getting paid $25 million a year, I think your responsibility is right there. Well, what's the difference if you see your baby? Your baby ain't going to fucking know you was there. I, I would stay with my team. That's my thing. Brady, go ahead, because I see you first. Go ahead. What do you think? Yeah, especially well, playoff game. Yeah, regular season game. I understand, but playoff game. Yeah, you should be obligated to show up. Yeah, because that's gonna be right. That's gonna be right. September is gonna be right in the playoffs of the bubble. Eastern finals is what it's is what it's expected to be. Yeah, and I mean, oh, then, and I mean, obviously with Jason no, Hayward, Gordon Hayward doesn't need to be there anyways. I mean, he won't even be in the bubble anymore. It'll be fun. Right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I mean, obviously exactly. here comes Wads, who hasn't watched the game of basketball in probably like his entire life. But um, anyway, Bullshit. with Jason Tatum being our team, we're gonna be in the Eastern Conference Finals. It's gonna be us in Milwaukee, the two best teams in the East. It's not even close. I mean. Him doing that to us, I mean, I'm a big fan of Gordon Hayward, but I think it's a little bullshit that he's leaving. I mean, you're going to be like a month late. Who cares? The baby's going to be a month old. But it's barely going to be fucking talk. It's going to be talking. It's going to be shit in his pants or her pants, whatever. And I, I think he should be there for the team because, I mean, we're going to be making a deep finals run this year, and I think he should be there. He's a big part right, of coming off the bench for us. That's my thing. You're not getting paid minimum wage. If you're getting paid minimum wage, then yeah. But – you don't message the birth of your child for minimum wage, but if your your franchise is paying you twenty five million fucking dollars a year, I think you fucking know responsibility. Hundred percent. You he should definitely be playing. I mean, it's whatever. I mean, I respect him. Sydney. He's a good family man. Can't diss him on that. I mean, he's a good family man, but I still think he should be down there playing. But it's all right because I mean, we still got our big three and. Campbell Walker, Jalen Brown, and you already know the third person, Jason Tatum. But, I mean, what else am I going to say? I mean, we're going to beat whoever's in our first round. We're going to beat whoever's in the second round. We're going to beat Milwaukee in the second round. And we're going to beat one of the LA teams in the finals. And it's all about Banner 18, baby, Jason Tatum. All right, Waz, what's your comments on Gordon Hayward? What, what would you um, I don't know. So, the way I look at it, you know, I don't have any kids, but – you know, I don't think I'd be missing the birth of my child, you know, especially playing for such a fucking shitty team as the Boston Celtics, you know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> fuck those guys. Those guys fucking stink anyways. What's he, what's he, what's he Every the time Celtics? I hear the word Jason Tatum, I just want to take a fucking shit on the floor. Jason Tatum? <laughs> yeah, are, like, are you playing for like, Manny like, Earward and shit on the floor? If you play for the Lakers or the Sixers or something, I can understand, you know. All right, it's it's prestigious to play for them teams, but you're playing for the shitty Celtics. <laughs> the it's like, Sixers. Oh my god! It's like whatever, dude. It's prestigious to play for that shitty ass city and that fucking shitty organization of fucking the Sixers. Oh my god! Was that was? I know you're taking a shot at the fucking Celtics there, but okay. So hypothetically speaking, if he if he played for a team that was a contender, which I think the Celtics are a contender, but. If he, we are. If he played for a team that was a contender, what would you do? Still go to the birth of your child? or? Play? Yeah, I, I don't think I would miss the birth of my child. I don't think I could do that. I mean, especially Rick, if it's Rick, your first kid. You know what I mean? Like fucking, it's, his, uh, it's, his four, it's his fourth kid. Does that change your mind at all? It's his fourth kid. He's been at all three. Well, maybe birth. he liked the birth of the first three that much. He's not going to miss the fourth. I don't know. I've never had a kid. <laughs> You know, well, I didn't know if it made any difference if it was his fourth kid. He's seen all three of them. I didn't know. <laughs> he likes seeing that. Well, you don't have like kids, that. Drew. So, I mean, <laughs> the only one that can really fucking know what the fuck he's talking about on this is Big Grizzly, I think, you know, because he has kids. I'm I don't play the game. I think my kids would understand that when they got older, especially with all the I, money I was giving them, with all the money I was giving them. I, I don't understand. understand I wouldn't be upset. Look at Brady. <laughs> What's he doing? He's fucking lit. What? <laughs> He's lit. No, I'm not. Blech. Blech. All right, let me move on to something else. Uh, Cam Newton joining the Patriots. What do you guys think about that? I'll go to Waz first because oh. he's the Patriots fan, I, I suppose. He's a Buccaneers so, fan. I got to say, though, uh, whenever Brady left and it popped, up that Cam Newton was going to be available. I said Belichick was going to go get this motherfucker. I said it. I said it. And I was right. I mean, 
he's going to be an asset. He really is. I think with an offensive line that doesn't let him get fucking hit in the head every fucking play, I think he's got a chance to be fucking good again. You know what I mean? He's not a bad quarterback. He's not. I mean, they're, they're, I mean it, it could either be Stenham or Cam Newton. I'm taking Cam Newton every time. Uh, can I interrupt here real quick? I think, I mean, obviously Cam Newton's a big upgrade from Jarrett Stidham. But I, st- I still don't think they're that good. I mean, they're not more talented than Buffalo. I mean, if you look at their offense besides Cam Newton, it's not that fucking talented at all. Julian Edelman, Nikhil Harry. I mean, it's, it's not that good. That's all I'm saying. Don't shit on Harry now. There's a reason that – oh, man. That man has made some fucking plays. He's talented. He got his first year under his belt. He's going to be good this season. Julian Edelman's going to be fucking – I mean – you got to expect that he's not going to be the one getting double covered anymore with Nikhil Harry fucking showing up. But Nikhil, uh, Harry, you know, did, Nikhil Harry did uh, not show up defense, last year. Joey Edelman is going to be catching every double. Way. Everybody who knows football knows this. They have Bill Belichick. They always have a good defense. That's just the way it is. That's what fucking – that's that's honestly what keeps them in games, you know. Maybe they got to come back in some games, but the defense holds them in it. You know what I mean? That's why they don't get blown up. Defense is always there. It always is. I think – part, part I agree with Waz. Belich- Belichick is a defensive fucking genius. I and see – um, Their defense I see, will always be good as long as that. I see New England coming in in the AFC with the, new, with the new playoff teams. I see them sneaking in about the seven seed. I don't see them winning division. I like Buffalo a lot. I think Buffalo is talented, way more talented. They've got a better defense than New England. They got no. not a better quarterback, but they got better weapons. Stephon Diggs is better than anyone that New England's got on the offensive side. Buffalo is going to be a better team and uh, a better defense than New England. I see Buffalo win that division by a game or two. And uh, New England coming in, I think, the seventh seed. I would like to point out something real quick, though. Drew is one of those guys who, before Brady had all of his rings, you know, maybe around like the third or fourth rank, Drew Gates was one of the guys that said New England is a quarterback system. Tom Brady is just a system quarterback, you know, like fucking 25 other quarterbacks in the league are better than him. So you fucking can't do that. that. I I never said that once in my life. And I personally do think – I mean, Tom Brady's great, obviously. He's the best quarterback of all time. But um, I'm going to make a bold prediction here. I don't think Tampa Bay makes the playoffs in the NFC. That's stupid. I don't um, think so. I think they come third. I think they come third in their division. New Orleans is a better team. New Orleans is a better team than them, and I think Atlanta's no. better than them. Hold no. on, let me what? get. Let me no. get yo, let me get. Let me go to Brady. I don't know if he passed out. But what the fuck, Good Brady? What's your thoughts on Cam Newton and the Patriots? I haven't well, heard from you in a while. Well, I'm just listening to these fucking buffoons. I mean, this the shit that Drew spewing is making me fucking feel like I have Down syndrome. I mean, to say, come on, dude. The fucking Buccaneers, they're the best team in that division. But they're the best offense in the NFL right now. Come on, no. dude. Who, how? Who is a better offense New than Orleans, that? dude. No, no, they don't. Drew, okay, yeah, agree, let, Drew. let me break it down for you. Drew. Drew Brees last year played a lot better than Tom Brady. Tom Brady did not play that good this year. Let's look at their weapons, their receivers. I'm taking Michael Thomas over Mike Evans any day of the week. Mike, Michael Thomas is a beast. You got old ass Gronk who sat out a year, who's probably not going to be that good. He was in WWE for a little bit, winning the fucking whatever fucking stupid title they have in WWE. Who gives a shit? And now uh, running back wise, I'm taking Alvin Kamara over fucking what's his name, Mike Mike James the Third, whoever's in Tampa Bay. It doesn't matter. I, I agree. Okay. And then I like Atlanta. Okay. And then I like Atlanta over Tampa Bay. I mean, Julio Jones, Matt Ryan. The, I mean, let's not forget the dad is Todd Gurley this year. Okay. Todd Gurley's oh. old and washed up and fucking injury prone. Are you and, kidding and Tom me? Brady's not. And Tom Brady's not old and washed up. Tom Brady's been hurt one time in his fucking career, you yeah, No, I'm not saying that you're prone. I'm saying Tom Brady's not old and washed up. He didn't play no, that fucking good life. Not. Do, you, do you remember, Wait, do you remember stop, the last play stop, Tom Brady's made in his career? A pick six by Tennessee. Stop. He just called Todd Gurley old. <laughs> Did he just call Todd Gurley old? Yeah. He's like 28 years old. 
Maybe we're that. running back. Maybe that. I mean, first of all, first running of all. back. I mean, thirty to thirty-two is probably around the average that they fucking exit. He ain't thirty to thirty-two. He's like twenty-six, twenty-eight. <laughs> he's young as shit. Okay, well, maybe I'm I had my shit wrong. Right but now. he is. He's he's fucking hurt all the time, man. He lost it after that fucking goddamn uh, that year they went to the Super Bowl against the Patriots. That he only played what ten fucking plays. Why was that? Because he's fucking hurt all the time. He was fucking dramatically injured fucking going into that game. Otherwise, they would have fucking handed him the rock, you know? He was their fucking heart and soul. He was the only thing that got them to that Super Bowl that fucking year, in my opinion. Who's, Ta- who's Tampa Bay's running back? I'm taking God Gurley over any one of them fuckers. You're taking a fucking yeah. 10 touches a fucking game running back over a guy. <laughs> Whatever, just shut up, Drew. Uh, over, over, uh, uh, over, just shut the fuck up. That's a great running back name. <laughs> I didn't know they had a running back on their team over, just shut the fuck up. Because you don't know who the fuck his running back is. Listen, because Todd Gurley is a better running back than the Atlanta or the Tampa Bay's running this back. This is why I got to agree with Drew. This is why I got to agree with Drew. Because Tom Brady, based on last year's stats, would have had the third best QBR rating in that division. Or actually, it was the fourth to that fucking Carolina. Who's that fucking Carolina backup that replaced Cam Newton? He might have had a higher QBR rating than fucking Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady was either third or fourth based on QB rating. So don't don't go off and say they had the best QB. He they had the best QB in that division. Drew Brees is old. Drew Brees is the best quarterback. Are you guys, like, are you serious? Are you guys being serious? I'm, I'm can't tell. I think they're fucking. Are, you, are they joking? Drew Brees is the best quarterback. Swat receiver. No, that's how that offense was. Are you fucking kidding me? Tom Brady. Tom Brady's had the best quarterback in that division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Brady's had the best quarterback in that division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Brady had the worst offense in the league. You're putting him with a top five receiver, the second best tight end in the league. Not to mention OJ Howard's defense second option tight end in the league. Marquise Goodwin. I mean, did you, what the did fuck you just say second? Did you just say second best tight end in the league? Yeah, I did. Greg Olson. A guy who or, sat I mean, out I, the league. You're gonna tell me he's better than George Kittle or Travis Kelsey? You're retarded. He's dude. better than he's better than Kelsey, not better than Kittle. <laughs> yeah, I think Kittle oh, is no number one. Kelsey. Kelsey. Kelsey, Kelsey is not number two, and I'll tell you why. Oh, Everyone focuses get on the out, other get weapons that Kansas no City has, <laughs> and it's hard to focus <laughs> on the fucking tight end. I mean, I don't know. You're going to sit there and tell me that Travis Kelsey's not the first or second best tight end in the NFL? Yes. Did something happen to Gronk? Did Gronk lose a leg? Did Gronk lose a leg? I'm sorry. I'm I'm missing something here. Did Gronk sit out a year because he didn't talk and play because he wasn't that good? Did Gronk sit out a year because he wasn't that good? The guy that made one-handed fucking catches in the end zone over people's fucking heads. Are we talking about a he's different the, he's the most dumb, He's the most dominant tight end to ever probably play the game of football. I don't know what we're talking about here. He's refreshed. He missed the whole year. He's coming into a West Coast offense. Dude's going to light it the fuck up. Tom yeah. Brady's so, so we're good. talking about a West Coast well, offense you need for to a chill. We're you talking need about a West Coast offense best. for a quarterback who throws the ball maybe five yards of play. Tom you Brady... Know what? Do you know what West Coast offense is, Drew? <laughs> no, Tom Brady don't throw the ball, throws. dude. Tom it's Brady does not have an arm. Throws, you dummy. Did, Did you he not, say Tom chill. Brady does not have an arm? Not. He doesn't anymore. He's old and washed up. You saw it in New England last year, dude. Right, let's he go, had boys. Julian Stop. Edelman, a slot receiver, being double covered. Name one other slot receiver in the NFL being double covered every play. You goofy fuck. It's because their offense Juju, sucks. Juju Smith-Schuster. Juju Smith-Schuster. He's not a slot receiver, Joe. You're, you're Juju Smith-Schuster is actually you're coming back into the slot. Into it, like he, more he, of an actually, <laughs> his rookie year with AB, he played in the slot, and he's coming back into the slot. So maybe you should watch one of our Steeler mm. games with Brady Gates. You said no, no, Juju. Hold on. First, off, first of all, shut the fuck up. You're dumb as hell if you think you're saying wrong is be- the best fucking tight end to ever played the game. That's the dumbest shit I ever fucking heard. You ever Shannon watched Kevin Winslow Sr.? Shut the fuck up. Chart? I ain't even fucking Bobby Newsome. Shut most the hell up. Trump, if you don't Trump is the most ears. overrated motherfucker to ever play the game. He ain't Whoa. better than Kittle. He most was never overrated. better than Kittle. And he ain't better than fucking Kelsey. He ain't better than either one of those two. The oh, both shit. of them two were better than him. 
So no. coming in, on, just stop with that. At, at the very best this year, Gronk's coming in as the third best tight end in the NFL. At the very no. best, Gronk's Listen, coming in as the third best tight end I'll in the NFL. I'll tell you who's fucking overrated, and that's goddamn Travis Kelsey. You want to know why? Because that motherfucker <laughs> is on the same team with the Falcons. Shut up, Fanny. In the NFL. Shut up, Fanny. Everyone is Fanny Hammer. Fanny Hammer. Tyreek Hill. Every fucking play. Everybody. He ain't better than Travis Kelsey. Just stop. Just stop now. Come on. Travis Kelsey. George, Travis you Kelsey. Could argue, you could argue Njoku is better than him. You could make that <laughs> argument. You're not know, fucking high. You're fucking high. You, you George can't. Yeah, we're off the deep end. We got to move. Hey, we hey. got to go. Gotta you go. guys, everyone in the fans, everyone watching right now, flip, flip this shit. Right now, team hey, six. Hold on. Hold, Dude, can I say something? No, what, hold on. Hold on. I was in the middle of saying something. I'm uh, fucking just kicking your holding the feathers. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, someone mark. Clip, 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 clip it, clip it, clip it. Hold on. I'm, I'm talking. That uh, <laughs> right here, right now, Teabag69 says that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers got all this hype. Like, I'm not going to say who, but the Cleveland Browns last year, they're not going to make the playoffs this year. They're not going to make the playoffs this year. Come on, the Browns yeah, have yeah. shitty fucking coaching to that. and a rookie to quarterback that last year. Shut the fuck up, Tranny. Shut up. I want to go on that fucking Gronk shit. Because y'all motherfuckers say, look at him. He looks like Waz now. He's like 115 pounds. Y'all think he's going to come in and dominate the fucking league. And y'all laugh at me because I said Njoku's better. Njoku <laughs> is better. I've taken Njoku any day. Yeah, uh, over that injury prone he, ass fucking. Uh, he always got that big ass fucking Darth Vader fucking sleeve on his arm. It's <laughs> fucking overrated. Shut up. Man, speaking, of Dave, fucking, speaking of David, speaking of David, did you see? Did you see he requested a trade from Cleveland? The Bucks should trade him for Gronk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think. I think. I think the Bucks are way too over. Excuse me, way too overhyped this year. I mean. Tom Brady was not a good quarterback last year. He struggled all season. Can, can we move on to the next topic? I'm I'm literally tired of hearing you guys I, do fucking I, pieces. Yeah, yeah, I've lost so many brain cells in this that I I don't think I can lose much more. So let's. Move you know on. what? You know what the funny thing is? Y'all trying to make us sound like we're fucking retards, but Tom Brady is a 43 year old fucking quarterback. He's old. He's done, dude. He's on the downside of his career. Was your Patriots got better? By getting rid of him. Just All right, hold on. Him. They got better right, by let, getting rid of him. Let's go around the horn real quick. I'd like to make our goddamn NFL predictions for this fucking season. Um, you know, how many how many games do you think Tampa Bay wins? Let's start out with Big Grizzly. Go ahead, buddy. I, I haven't looked at the schedule. I don't fucking know. Uh huh. All right, Drew. Oh, my go gosh, you're gonna say. You're going to say 14 and 2 because you want to fucking suck Tom Brady's cock. Like, Drew wants to suck Conor McGregor's cock. And Drew, Jason ahead, Tatum. Buddy. And Jason Tatum. Don't forget about Jason like... Tatum. Okay, Drew, how many wins? If, if you're going to go to me about Tampa Bay's record, um, they're, they're – uh, I'm looking at it. I'm saying mm, – it's a toss-up between 8 and 8 or 9 and 7. Okay, well, so, okay, so if I had to pick, I'll say nine and seven, but I don't think nine and seven gets into the playoffs of the NFC. I think the NFC is really good. I think they're really top. I think they're really good. At, I think they're the better division, the better conference. I'm sorry. What do you think, Brady? I think they win 11 to 13 games, but the reason it's <laughs> going to be a lot of their games are going to be close is because they really don't have that good of a defense, which is going to uh, keep them from making a deep run into the NFC. But as far as if you take away Seattle, I mean, Seattle, San Francisco. New Orleans, Minnesota. That's, I mean, that's the only I'll two teams that are – Green Bay. That's the only two teams that I would pick over Tampa Bay in the playoffs. <laughs> I'm not – I mean, whatever. I've watched Tom Brady dominate my franchise for the last 15 years. He's the greatest quarterback to ever play. You're putting him in a resurgent offense in the West Coast, nice and warm down there in Florida. He's gonna have a fucking year. He's gonna have another he, year. He, 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 is the great, he, he is the greatest no. quarterback of all time. But look at his numbers. He's on the downfall, dude. Uh, he, he didn't yeah. play that fucking good last year. 
Drew, Brady, who was the, Brady who made was a good the Patriots he was, and tight ends last year? Name them all. He was the great – you know, stop with that. He was the greatest quarterback to ever fucking play. He was. Stop with what? But he's 40 he, – or he is the greatest. He is the greatest. I'm not fucking arguing that. But he's yeah. 43 years old. He's not better than Drew Brees. I don't think he's better than Matt Ryan. He's not. He's not, okay. better, Matt Matt Ryan. Ryan. not better than Russell hey. Wilson. Whatever. He's not better. And he's than not Russell better than Aaron Rodgers. He's, he's, not, he's Aaron definitely Rogers. not better than Aaron Rodgers. I'm taking San That's Francisco. He's just not. I'm That's what happened. Hey, I think hey, San Francisco has a team better than them. Seattle's better I, than them. I said Seattle's better than them. That's it. Minnesota Green Bay is better than them. We That's seen what happened. I've seen great quarterbacks get old, and I've seen it. I've seen it coming with Tom Brady. I have more experience than you guys. I've seen that shit. I seen okay. it with Joe Montana. Listen, I seen it with Terry Bradshaw. I've I seen heard it with a lot of great quarterbacks. I've seen this shit every fucking season. Oh, Tom Brady, this is the last time. About? He's not coming back. He's going to suck again. And then he comes out and fucking wins the goddamn Super Bowl. He this fucking does it. Did he win it last year? Did he win Where it last, last year? year? No. He sucked last year. Do you remember his last play with the Patriots? Pick six to Tennessee, who's not really a good Do you team. remember yeah, the offense that the dude bring that up? Like, what oh, his doing? last – Fucking play with the Patriots. So wait, with so the wait, pick hold six. on. Hold Who on. gives so a fuck? Bring up his, Who cares? Bring up the motherfucker won six Super Bowls with those motherfuckers. And he threw one pick six at the Bears. I'm not trying to dispute it's that Tom it's Brady's not enough. the greatest of all time. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time, but he's not. But why that do you good bring anymore? up the pick six? He's why not do you that bring good up the anymore, pick dude. Oh my god. He's Drew, not good anymore. Drew. He fucking sucks. They lost to the fucking Drew. Titans, who also beat the Ravens. Yeah, here he goes. Here he goes. Yeah, yeah. Here he goes. Here he yeah. goes. Here who he also goes. beat the Drew. best team Drew. in the NFL. <laughs> Drew, don't even talk to them about them. They'll fucking mm. understand. They don't understand. Father Time's undefeated. He's on the fucking downside. You stupid he was, he was on his downside last think year. he's going to be playing until he's 90 fucking years old. He's on the Tom downside good. of his career. If Tom anyone's going to ever do it, Tom fucking Brady. Years. That man is the Gordy Howe of football, motherfucker. Dude, he's no, gonna no, no one here, the no one here like, is arguing with your training. transgender ass that he's not the best quarterback of all time. We all agree he's the best quarterback of all time. No one's but saying that. We all agree that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, let me just talk Can to I you. give my fucking Hold on. I'm in the middle of talking. I'm in the middle of talking. You're holding the feather. Watch. Hey, 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 Tranny. Hey, Tranny Hammer. Can I speak? He, he, he. I'm in the middle of talking. Can I fucking speak? You can speak after I'm done. I was in the middle of a conversation. We don't want to hear what you have to say. It's unknowledgeable. It doesn't make any sense. He's the best quarterback of all time, 100%. And no one's trying to argue that. But you could see he was on the downslope last year. Look and at his I offense. Said, can I just get that on the record? Look at hold his on. offense. Let me talk real quick, you fucking dickhead. I don't dickhead. care what you hold have on. to say. Okay, he had it's a shitty dumb. offense. But he lost to, Tam- he lost to Tennessee. Who did? He- their offense was Derrick Henry. Besides that, their offense was Derrick Henry. So did the best team in How the NFL, How can you blame bro? Tom Brady Good. for the Patriots defense not stopping Derrick Henry, you dumb motherfucker? How can the you say that? What do you want to score up for old buddy? And tackle that big motherfucker? Okay, Tom, go get face. him, buddy. Dude, look at his face. You think he's going to play middle linebacker? You stupid fuck. John Brady. Tom Brady got beat by Ryan Tannehill. Uh, end of discussion. Ryan Tannehill. What, he yeah, threw the ball five times that game? End of discussion. Ryan Tannehill. I mean, Derrick Henry beat the fucking best team in the NFL the same year. No matter. No, 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 no. Who was the quarterback in that team? Kansas City. Who was the quarterback in that team? Kansas City. You motherfuckers aren't coming with nothing that's any logical wait, wait, at all. Wait, 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 You're wait, wait, talking wait, wait. about it. Shut the fuck up. You're just bitching, You're, you dumb fuck. I'm You're telling me that Derrick Henry is the best team I'm in the NFL? You. Fuck, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> wow, dude. Patriots get 12 wins. <laughs> or fucking Buccaneers get 12 wins. 12 game. wins. You're That's stupid. That's my prediction that I finally get to fucking say because Drew shut the fuck up long enough because he was startled that he pissed but, someone listen, off so bad they left the fucking I'm going to end this debate. interrupting everybody. Here, here, the end of this debate because some people are just getting butthurt because – Tom Brady, no one's questioning, is the greatest of all time. I'm Nobody. not questioning that. I've witnessed, like, you guys don't understand. I've witnessed great quarterbacks on the downside of their career. I've seen it. I have experience. He is on the downside of his career, and it's coming fast. But you guys don't want to fucking understand that. You want to say because he has weapons. Listen, Tom Brady never had fucking 
he never really had fucking weapons in New England. It was just yeah. he was that great. That's why they he had, won the he Super had Moss, Bowl. He had Moss that one year. Yeah, Moss, but they didn't win the Super Bowl that year, so don't interrupt. Yeah, but they broke they how many the fucking Bowl records? He had yeah, he had Moss, but they didn't win a fucking Super Bowl. He won a Super Bowl with a lot of guys nobody would have known without Tom Brady. So don't give me that he didn't have an offense. When he was at his prime, it didn't matter if he had great fucking players. He did what he did because he was great. He's just not great anymore, dude. He's on the downside of his career. You can see it with his throws. I know when he played the Steelers last year, the year before when we beat them in Heinz Field, his throws are late. They're off. He just doesn't have the arm strength. He's on the downside of his career. It's the same thing Joe Montana did when he went to fucking San Francisco to Kansas City. They got rid of him. You don't get rid of greats. Greats should just fucking retire from that team. But they want to hang on. Tom Brady just wants to hang on. He should have just retired. Sure. That's my end piece here tonight. And I'll go to Waz. Go ahead and sign off. All right. If you guys haven't already, uh, go ahead and follow the Danny Hammer as uh, one of the only two rational people on this podcast. You know, check him out on Facebook. It's the Danny Hammer. So, you know, lots of fucking funny videos and shit, you know. Drew's dumb as piss. Everybody knows it. And uh, we'll see you guys fucking next week or something, probably, you know. Over to you, whoever. What you got, Drew? All right. Well, make sure you guys check it out. Teabag69 on my YouTube channel. You guys are watching on it right now. We're working on getting it. We're, gro- we're trying to grow the channel so we can uh, make a dude rant YouTube channel. We don't, want, we don't want our ratings to go down, so we're working on it right now. But um, make sure you guys check out all the social medias and uh, – Big news tomorrow for the Teabag 69 world is the inaugural Teabag 69 hot dog eating contest. So far, me, Big Grizzly, and uh, Jimmy Moyer, Denny Moyer's son, if you guys didn't know. Um, so far, the three in there. Big Ty's probably in there. Lux Life Gold. I mean, it's going to be a good one. I'm winning it, but it's whatever. Um, I know things got cut short a little bit today. Uh it was a good podcast. It was real debatable, but I mean, it was a fun one. Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, everyone out there. We really pray. Oh, there's Brady. Brady's back in the podcast. Welcome back. And uh, I mean, I mean, thank you guys for tuning in. It means a lot. We appreciate all your support. And uh, yeah, over to you, Big Grizzly. I would go to Brady here and sign what his closing statements are. I didn't know we were done, but no wonder Mr. Sprinkle says we have fucking. Short bus people here. That was fucking crazy to listen to. Uh, tune in next week. Tune in next week. Hopefully, we'll be smarting up on football. Peace. Big Grizzly, right. yep. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like Drew said, tune into the fucking, if all of the uh, social media pages. Link in the description. Link in the description. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Follow them. Keep following them. We need some good guests. And uh, submit some questions or topics or something like that. We'll we'll air anything. We don't give a shit. We'll talk about whatever the fuck. We don't care. Yeah. All right. Peace. We'll see you guys next week. All right. See you later, Dad. You got to end it. Make sure you click that record button. Hit stop yeah, recording. All right. Well, see you guys later. Subscribe. Make sure you guys like and comment. Peace. Did you get it? Still says recording, big grizzly. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah.